And new on the night team, a rain-soaked memorial tonight for a nine-year-old girl who was killed today, struck by a ripped up bus in Providence. Authorities say she was walking to school with her father when it happened. Good evening, I'm Patrice Wood. And I'm Dan Janik. How it happened, of course, is the big question tonight. But now family and friends mourning the loss of the third grader. The night team's Olivia Fecto is live in Providence at that memorial. Olivia? Dan and Patrice, the memorial here on Smith Street has grown since earlier this evening. We've seen people come by bringing flowers and stuffed animals in memory of that little girl who was killed. Crosses, cards, and teddy bears sit on the sidewalk, marking the spot where a nine-year-old girl was killed Thursday. It's a tragedy. It's unsuspected, you know, and the way things are. Felix Rodriguez came out with his friend after hearing about the accident. Just pay a little bit of respects because we, we understand how it feels to have a child that's lost. The child's name has not been released, but the Providence School Department says she was a third grade student. It's been a very, very difficult day for Ripta. The head of Ripta choked up as he spoke about the incident. It's the second fatal Ripta accident in less than a year. Heartbroken over this, and it's extremely, extremely uh, difficult for us. Teddy bear and some flowers and some blue glass like the skies. Carlos Figueredo says he believes the little girl was his friend's daughter. He too couldn't find words to express his emotion Thursday. It was an accident, but she don't deserve. It's just not, it's sad, man. It's very sad. The Providence School Department says they will have grief counselors available tomorrow for the students and their families at the little girl's school, hoping to help them deal with the shock of this situation. Live in Providence tonight, Olivia Fecto, NBC 10 News Night Team.